Now that we've built our groups, I want to go ahead next and build our 2D plan view. It's on button number seven on the side of our screen. The reason we like to build our 2D plan view next is we can use it in a variety of ways throughout our show. We can use it when we're selecting fixtures, building our presets, and it's also an integral part of Dylos, the pixel mapper and effects engine that's built into Onyx. We'll go ahead into edit mode here by clicking live at the top of our 2D plan. And then we're going to go ahead over to our fixtures and we'll select some fixtures. Now, before we showed you, we can select fixtures using the fixtures tab and also the groups, which we can select by pressing on them. We can also type on the command line fixture numbers or use the group key and type a group number. Now we're here in 2D plan. We'll press, we'll go ahead actually before we press anything, I'm going to zoom out a little bit with the two fingered zoom. I'm going to pan to get the grid lines out of the way. Press add. Fixtures at the top, add mode. We're going to use the straight line. Place fixtures. Then it instructs us to draw a line to place our items. And we'll do so. Excellent. Now I'll go ahead and add my darts, which are on these vertical trusses. So I'll type group four, enter. That selected my lights. Press the add mode. This time I'm going to do the single add mode. And yes, it's going to make the fixtures a little bit crooked and, and out of line, but we can fix that really easily. And I want to show you that. So we'll place fixtures. Now, one at a time, we'll tap on the screen. It's not super particular to get them straight, but it does help if you can get the top and bottom fixture in about the same place. Perfect. Now I'll just tweak my top and bottom fixture, just pressing on them, moving it around with my finger. If you do have a mouse attached, a USB mouse, it does make this process a little bit easier. Or with the Onyx software per PC, you can set this up on your PC ahead of time. Now I'll select one vertical row. I'm going to do a spread vertically, align to the leftmost fixture. Then we'll do it again. Spread in the line. Grab my first set, grab my second set, line them up real nice. Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and add a multi-part fixture. As we've mentioned before, the multi-part fixtures are any light that has multiple elements to its lens. It may have multiple sets of pan tilt or more commonly, multiple red, green, blue cells. We'll press add, go to combined fixtures this time, and then we'll go ahead and choose some of our combined fixtures. So we've got our floor lights here. Now it says master because it's the master fixture that we're looking at, but it's, it's going to bring in the whole fixture. I'm going to use the line mode, place combined fixtures. We'll place them on the bottom. We've got just enough space for these, which is perfect. And now we've got those placed. The benefit here is we're able to visualize as we're working, um, especially if you have an external display and maybe you have your 2D plan up there while you have your programming screen on the NX2. Uh, we're going to see exactly what's in each cell whether we're pixel mapping or just working with the regular parameters. Now, we're going to go ahead and look at a couple more quick things. With any of these fixtures on the option tab on the side, once we have them selected, we have some different options as to how we can work with the units. For these darts, for example, we could turn them if they're hung sideways. Um, in this case, they're not, but we could use the rotation here rotate them as needed. We also have the ability under text to change the label. So by default, we see the fixture number. There's a lot of really useful labels in here, like the fixture number percent, which actually shows us the percent the light is at, which is just perfect whether you're on a corporate event or working with a DP and 
you've got to know what percent that light is at. Maybe you've set it up with some submasters. So they ask, hey, what percent is that light at? You can look at your 2D plan and know instantly. No digging through menus. It's right there. Awesome. We also have other options for flipping things horizontally or vertically. So we make sure that our lights match up with what's in our 2D plan. Great. Now we'll pop out of edit mode. And the last thing I like to do in 2D plan is deselect my lights, turn on highlight. And I'm just going to go through, select some of the lights, and make sure they're all in the right place. So I could select 71 here, press next, 72, 3, 4. I see I got a couple of these out of order, and that's OK. I'll go ahead and fix that, get my 2D plan nice and, and correct to the rig in front of me. And then in our next video, we're going to talk about selecting our lights and modifying the attributes so we can get ready to build our presets.